thank you guys. Welcome to Pilates Fusion. So some of you have probably taken class with me if this is your first time. My name is Amanda Hanafi. I'm a Boston-based Pilates and bar instructor and bringing you this class through Yoga Hub. So Pilates Fusion, if you've taken Pilates before, it is a fusion of classical mat Pilates with some more high energy cardio options. Everything is low impact. I give you lots of options. I'm eight months pregnant. So being able to take class safely and to feel empowered is really important to me. So without further ado, we can get started. I mentioned uh, just a light to begin with if you'd like to use it. Not required. Uh, we will have a short arm section that we can grab those. And then I'm going to use a ball just to support myself for core work. So if that is something that feels good for you, feels safe for you, especially if you're pregnant or postpartum, please grab that. And then anything just to make you more comfortable. If you want to double up your mat, leave something underneath your knees. If we're on our knees for a little bit, please do that. And music's too loud for any reason. Just shout. I will turn it down. And we're going to get started standing up. So your legs are just going to fall underneath your hips, slide down in your knees, and just start to give me some nice deep breaths, nice deep shoulder rolls up and back. Release any tension from the day, and then we're going to take it forward, reverse those circles, nice deep breath. Inhale, exhale for four, three, two, one. Now your arms are going to sweep forward in front of your shoulders. You're going to take your right arm back, your left arm is going to stay forward. And then you're just going to start to switch. So nothing else moves to start keeping your hips, your shoulders nice and square. You're going to notice that everything wants to move. We're going to add on a few. Just deep breaths. Feel that nice length through your fingertips. Now you can start to add that rotation of that rib cage. So just incorporating some of that natural movement, right? Getting our thoracic spine to move. Now, when you're ready, you're gonna to start to add that opposite knee. Good lift. The knee lifts are too much today. You just continue with those arms. Inhale, exhale, you've got eight. For six, four. Three, we're gonna take you to a squat, side bend to the right. Squat it down. Side bend. Get nice and deep. Push up. Side bend and lift. Good. It's down. Press. Reach. Waking up all planes of the body. Let's go four more. Press your heels down into the mat. Last two, you take it down and push. Last one. Now you're going to take it to that squat. You're going to hold. Little pulses here. So spreading through those toes, tailbones nice and long. You are lifting through those lower abdominals. You've got four, three. We're going to stay nice and low. Your toes are going to rotate out, center. Rotate, warming up those hips. Out. Keep that breath going. Inhale, exhale. Four more. For four, rotate. In last two, now you're gonna rotate your toes out, hold it here. Drop your tailbone, lift your chest. If you need to take your feet out a little bit wider, go for it. Arms are gonna reach up as you extend your legs. You take it up, down, lift. Inhale, exhale, push that ground away. Good, four more. Three, two, hold it nice and low. Pulse it, eight. First six. Again, keeping those ribs nice and connected. Last one. Now inhale, big reach up, parallel those feet. Reach it forward. You're going to find your flat back. Holding it for a moment. Enjoy that stretch. Hands down to the mat. Bend your knee, drop your tailbone. You're going to roll it all the way back up again. Inhale. Reach, lengthen through your spine. Drop those hands down. Bend the knees. Let's do one more. Big inhale up. We're reaching forward. Stretch. Now hands go to the mat. You're going to keep your feet nice and wide. Start to bend your knees. Down. Up. You can always take your hands to your thighs. If you're taking your 
hands to the floor is too much. Last four. Last two. Down, flush. Now, keeping your feet nice and wide, you're gonna walk yourself out to your high plank. Modification, you drop down to your knees. Hold and breathe. Push away from the mat. Plank into the crown of your head. You're nice and supported through those core. Now step your right foot into the center. Left foot into the center. Then that right foot steps back out. Left foot back out, switch. Left foot in. Right foot in. So small controlled plank walks. Option, you can start to take it up a little bit. Keeping those hips nice and stable. You can also take it to a plank jack. Or you just hold your plank. You can modify as needed. You're here for about 15 more seconds. So taking whatever your body needs tonight, slowly tapping. Maybe you're jumping. Eight. For six. Four. Three. Two. One hips back, child pose. Deep breath. Maybe shift your weight side to side. And then we're going to swing our legs around and lie down onto your back. If you need support to come down, hold up behind your thighs. Our right leg's going to come up to tabletop, knee over your hip. Left leg comes up to tabletop, legs together. I like to flex my feet here. I want you to place your palms onto your thighs, and you're going to press your hands into your thighs, thighs into your hands. You're gonna feel this abdominal tension building. Think about bringing those ribs down towards your hips. And you are just gonna hold and breathe. Nice deep inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Think about spreading that air down to the mat. Eight more counts here for eight. For six, four, three, two. Now arms are gonna come down to the mat, lengthen through your toes. Inhale, your right leg is going to extend out 45 degrees, and then you're going to pull it back in and switch. Reach. And so inhale to lengthen. Exhale, pull that belly in. Reach. Exhale and pressing your hands down into the mat. Open up through your chest. And in. Lengthen out. And in. So your legs can always come up a little bit higher for a little bit more support. Let's go three more. And in. for two. And in. last one. Now we're going to add on both those arms up to the sky. Now, as your right leg extends, your arms reach back by your ears and pull everything back to center. Inhale, exhale, push, push. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push. Inhale, lengthen. Alternating those legs. Exhale, push. Now, if you like this option, you can add an ab curl at the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen. I'm going to keep my head back and shoulders on the mat for now. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Two more for reach. Exhale, lift. Exhale, and now, if you can, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Reach your fingertips forward. Alternating toe taps, starting on the right. Tap, lift. Again, head, neck, and shoulders can be down. You do not have to tap the floor. You are maintaining that bend in those knees, and your legs are dropping. Down, exhale, lift. Down, exhale, lift. I'm choosing to keep my head, neck, and shoulders down today. Let's go for four. For three. For two. Last one. Now continue with that motion. We're going to take it to crisscross. Right knee and left leg extends. You rotate over to your right hands behind your head and switch. 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 Now you start to flow. Inhale. Exhale. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Knees into your chest. Take a breath. 
Legs are gonna go up to the sky. Arms back down by your side. Now rotate your legs open from your hip joints. Heels together, toes apart. Flex your feet. Press, open up your chest. Knees bend, extend, and push. So I'm taking my 90 degrees. You can take yours out 45 degrees for a little bit of extra challenge. Down, push, down, push, inhale, exhale, breathe. Let's go four more. Three, two. Now bend your knees halfway, hold. As you inhale, lower your legs down. And then you're gonna exhale, lift back up. So the depth of your legs is totally up to you. You wanna keep that core connected. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Four more. For four. And lift. For three. And lift. Last two. And lift. Last one. Knees into your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. Now hands behind your thighs. We're gonna take a few rock and rolls up to seated. You can also rock onto your side and just press yourself up. So we're gonna to come to a kneeling position. Again, if this bothers your knees, please add something underneath your knees, double up the mat, towel, blanket. Also option here to grab a light set of hand weights. Totally not necessary. We're gonna to come to a nice tall kneeling position to start. So I want you to really think about lifting from those abdominals, gently squeezing your glutes. You're gonna feel a nice opening through the front of your hips. Now, wherever you are, if you're using weights, if you're not using weights, palms are gonna face forward. Now I'm gonna really maintain that nice tall posture. We're just gonna start with some bicep curls. Up, down, lift. Lower. So if you are not using weights, you just got those palms nice and open. Up. Now resisting the urge to lean back, I really want you guys to invite yourself forward. That's going to really challenge those abdominals. Really ask yourself to keep those in to stabilize. Up. Good lift. Press. Let's go four more. Very. Two, now hold that half point bend. Arms are gonna reach forward. Out, pull in. This one's really challenging, right? Your body wants to move back and forth. So you're squeezing through your glutes, you're lifting from your abdominals, your chest is open. Out, in, push, pull, pressing down through those shins. Really using every muscle in your body to stabilize. Breathe. Let's go four more. Three, two, now hold your arms out nice and long. We're just going to flip those palms down, up, down, up. So we're rotating through those shoulders. Again, check yourself. Are you leaning back? You can invite yourself a little bit more forward. Last two. Now palms are going to face down. You're going to pull those elbows back, press forward, back, push, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna to start to add those hips in four counts. Four, push, three, two. Now as you press forward, your hips are gonna go back. So elbows back, and then add the hips. Up, push, inhale, exhale. So again, those glutes involved. Contract, lengthen. Up, down, push, pull, and press. Good for four, for three. For two, now we're gonna hinge it back, hold. So hold it here for a second. You've got your lift through your abdominals. Your spine is nice and long. You're pressing down through the chins, just those elbows. Pull back, press forward, back, push, and breathe. It's back, push, inhale, exhale, reach. Last two. Now arms stay out nice and long. Press those palms back, open up your chest, and press it forward, reach, press it back, and forward, back, and forward. Really opening up through that collarbone and then reaching. Good, last two. Now press it back, 
pull those arms back, palms up, little pulses. So really using your abdominals so this doesn't just dump into your lower back. In you through those hips. It's up. Push. Now start to draw little circles up and around. See if you can lift your arms just a little bit higher, but maintaining that long spine. Reverse those circles around. All around. Last three. Last two. Final little set here. Arms nice and lifted. Little bend extend. Bend push. Bend push. Bend press. Bend press. Keep your arms a little bit higher. A little bit longer. Last four. Three. Two. One. Lower those weights down. Hands come to the mat. I'm going to suggest modification for this push up. Knees on the ground. Option, you can always put it to full plank, but spread through your fingertips. Your elbows are going to come about 45 degrees. You maintain that long spine. Now you have three counts to lower down and one to lift. Don't rush it. It's down. Two, three, exhale up and one. It's down. Two, three, exhale up and one. It's down. Two, three, exhale, push. Good. It's down. Two, three, two more. It's down. Two, three, exhale, push. Down. Two, now reverse it down and one up and three. It's down. Up. Two, three. Good. It's down. Up. Two, three. Down and one. Up. Two, three. Two more. It's down. Up. Two. Last one. Down. Up. Two. Three. Sit back. Take that child's pose. Take that right arm. Reach up to the sky. Thread that right arm underneath. Drop it down to the mat. And then unwind. Other side. Left arm reaches up. Winding it other. Underneath. Beautiful. Then coming back to center. Tip your weight forward. You're going to tuck your toes. Send your hips all the way up. Find your down dog. Maybe pedal out your feet for a moment. And then walking your hands back to your feet. Bending your knees. We roll up all the way up. Your legs are going to come nice and wide. So that wide position we had in our warm-up where your toes are pointing out, you're rotating out from those hip joints. We're gonna take your hands to prayer, really press palm into palm, open up through your chest. Now we're just going to get to a nice deep PA lift. Down, push. So again, try not to lean forward, keeping our ribs stacked over our hips. Down, push. So this more high energy part of class, I want you guys to take it at whatever level suits you tonight. Right, the deeper you go, the faster you move, your heart rate's gonna lift. You can take it slower and a little bit more shallow. Two more, down. Now we're gonna hold it down, little pulses here. Again, connect through your feet, feel nice and stable through your life. Thighs are gently pressing back. Tailbones nice and long, and dogs are lifted. Eight. For six. Four. Three. Now we're going to stay nice and low. Hands are going to come behind your head, interlace your palms. You're going to wrap those shoulders gently. So your elbows are in your peripheral vision. Slowly side bend to the right for the side bend. Then back up now. Your chest is going to rotate over to the right. Center. So the legs don't move. And now rotate that ribcage over to the right. Center. Side bend. Lift. Rotate. One more on this side. Keep those hips pointing forward. And rotate. Center. Eight pulses here for eight. You can keep your hands behind your head. We're going to go right to the other side. Four. Three. Two, hold it nice and low. Side bend left. Lift up. Feel that opposite side pull you back. Rotate. Center. Side and try to stay at the same depth. 
not lift up at all. Go to rotate. Center, give me two more. Side bend. Lift. Getting that spine to move. Last one. Side bend. Lift. Rotate. Center, reach those arms out. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it low. Heel to those feet underneath your hips. So now you're in this nice deep squat position. Reach those arms forward, take it all the way up, all the way down. Transition to these full range squats. Push, press, lift up, down. So getting a little bit more into those glutes. Up, down, press more and more. For four, for three, for two. We're gonna hold it low, pulse it down for eight. For six, four, three. Now that right leg to the curtsy behind your left leg. Curtsy, out. So you want your left knee to continually trace over your left ankle and toes, protect that knee. If this bothers you, you can also just step it back. If that's a little bit better. Let's go four more. Three, two, now step back to that curtsy, hold. We'll sit down for eight, for six, four, three, two, back to center, left leg curtsies, out, curtsy. Nice deep breaths, almost there, you've got four more, three, two, hold that curtsy, we'll sit down for eight, eight, for six, Four, three, now we're gonna alternate. Curtsy, step it left, right. Option, you can speed it up, give up 15 more seconds. Maybe you wanna take it to a little hop, a little speed skater. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up. Shake it out, grab some water if you need it. Transition to a little more Greek work. Right leg forward, left leg back. Can you take this nice wide split stance? Your hips are nice and square though. So hips pointing nice and forward, shoulders in line with your hips. And then I want you to bend and find this nice deep rudder lunge. So your back leg is as straight as possible. And then we're going to reach our arms out nice and long. So you've got this beautiful long line from your fingertips down to your toes. Now that back knee is going to start to bend. Down, up, down. So right away, you're going to feel that right glute. Kick right on. Down, push. And how much that back knee bends is up to you. Maybe it's a tiny little bend. Maybe it's all the way down to the mat. Good for four. Three, two, now back leg stays nice and long. Your front leg lowers down an inch, up an inch, down, up. So again, you've got this beautiful long line. Maintain that leg for more. Four, three, two, and you've got one of each. Start with that back knee. Tap, slip, front leg lowers, and tap, lift, push, press. Tap. Reach. This is such a good foot workout. Down. Two more. Tap. Reach. Tap. Lift. Reach. Hold. Hands come down to the mat. You're going to step that right leg back into your plank for a moment. Now your left knee is going to come down to the mat on top of your toes. Hands underneath your shoulders. Float that right leg up. So that same leg that was in front is going to lift up. Lift through those abdominals. Now you're going to tap the mat. Lift. So right away, we're continuing with that glute work on the right side. You should feel it. Tap. Lift. Nice job. For four. Three. Keep this out of your lower back. I engage in those abdominals. Hold at the top. Little pulses here. Up. 
Start to flex your foot. Think about pressing that heel up to the ceiling. Push, push, four, three, two, one. Now lower down onto that left forearm. You're gonna press into that right hand. To really externally rotate, open up through that right hip. Now that right leg is gonna kick forward. Forward, toes come in front of your belly button. Point your toes. Then you sweep that leg slightly behind you. Good, kick it forward. And point behind you. So you wanna extend slightly through that hip, but don't arc your back. Three more. And relieving a little bit into that right hand out. And back. Now I can kick it forward, hold. Bend your knee 90 degrees. Lower and lift that right leg. Down, push, down, push. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Down, hold it up. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. We're going to quickly sit our hips over to the right as we reach our arms over to the left in this nice child pose. So you're going to stretch on that outer right hip. Shift your weight back forward, tuck your toes, hips go up, quick stretch. Walk your hands back to your feet, feet to your hands. Left leg forward, right leg back, and set up to the other side. Hips are nice and square. Get that nice stretch behind your right leg. And then lean into that nice high runner's lunge. Arms sweep forward, you are one long, beautiful line. Back knee taps down, tap, push. Down, lift. My belly kind of gets in the way here, but I really want to think about lifting and lengthening up. Down, push, down, get longer. You've got four more. Reach, use those fingertips. Last two. Hold it here, front leg lowers, down an inch, up an inch, down. Push, don't forget about that back leg is reaching long. Let's go for four. For three, for two to get ready for that combo. Back knee pushes down, you take it down. Lift, reach, back, tap, lift, front leg lowers, and lift, you take it down. Up, reach, pull it back. Down, up, reach, pull it back. For four, reach, and back. Three, reach. Last two, reach, and up. last one, down, down, reach, hold. Hands float down to the mat. You step back, find that plank just for a moment, modify however you need to. Now right knee drops down and tuck your toes. Hands underneath those shoulders, pull out your left leg up. By reaching through your toes again, lift those abdominals. Length through your spine, left leg to the top of the mat, lift. Really keep pushing away from the mat. So you get that upper body work. Get lifts here. Push, spread through your shoulder blades. Foot for four. Three, two. Left leg stays up. Little pulses here. You lift. Lift. Start to flex that left foot. Up hold. Break. For four. Three, two. One, now that right forearm comes down, you push to that left hand to open up for your left hip, externally rotate. Now heel is flexed, you're gonna sweep that left leg forward. Kick forward. Up the toes, extend slightly behind you, kick it forward. Slightly behind you, good. Kick. And back. Kick. Two more. Okay, keeping that core nice and stable. Now you're gonna kick it forward, hold, bend that knee 90 degrees. Lower, lift, down, push, push up. Almost there, for four. Push, three, two, hold it at the top. 10 pulses, you've got 10, nine, 
center, forearms down to the mat. We want you to step back into your forearm plank. Full forearm plank or you drop down to your knees. I'm going to drop down to my knees today. I just want you to hold it here. Great. Think about connecting your ribs down towards your hips. Forearms underneath your shoulders. When you're ready, just start to rock your weight forward, back. If you're on your knees, you can just hold. Three. You've got four more. Three. Two. One. Now float your right toes up. Again, that left knee can always come down to the mat. Little pulses of that right leg up. Lift. Let's go four. Three. Two. Now that right leg's gonna travel away from your body. And then you're gonna squeeze it back to center. It's out. In, out, squeeze, out. Good, four more for four. Three, two, one, one. Now drop down to your knees. And then I want you to lie down onto your right hip. Your left leg's gonna extend out long. Right forearm underneath your shoulder. So just transitioning to this modified side plank position. That right leg is on the bottom. Top arm is just going to extend now, pressing down into that right leg, pushing into that forearm. I want you to lift your hips up, push, lift, and then lower down to control. Push, lift, and down. Push, lift. So that right outer hip is really working. Push, lift, and down. Good. Two more. Push, and down. Now I want you to push up, hold. Take a nice big stretch and float that left arm up above your shoulder. Pulse those hips up. Option, you can extend that bottom leg out to a full side plank. You've got eight for six, four, three, two, one. Lower down onto that right hip. Press yourself up, keeping your knees bent. Right arm's just gonna lift up. You side bend over to the left. And then we step back up into that forearm plank. Holding it to start. And when you're ready, shifting your weight forward and back. It's forward, back, forward, back. Take whatever modifications you need. Three, for four, three, two. Holding it in center. That left leg is gonna lift. Little pulses up, up, lift. Last four, three, two. Now that left leg travels away from you. Squeeze it in, out, and in, out, in. Last two, last one, one. Now lower down both knees and then drop onto your left hip. Left forearm swings underneath your shoulder. Right leg extends out nice and long. Modified side plank, you push up out of that left arm. Press into that left forearm, bottom hip to lift those hips up. You take it up for two. Down for two. Exhale, push. Inhale, length, you go to your reach. And down, two more. Take it up. Now you take it up, hold. Right arm reaches up above your shoulder. Pulse those hips up for 10, nine, eight. Option extend that bottom leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips down. Bend your knees. Press yourself up into this beautiful side. Bend up and over to the right. Left arm reaches. And then swinging your legs around. Legs are going to come nice and wide. Off the width of your mat. 
So we're gonna move into some full range of roll-ups in a moment. I'm gonna show you a couple of options. I'm gonna use some supports, but if you are going all the way down to the mat, I will do that as well. So there's tons of options wherever you are in your journey. We're gonna just start with a nice spine stretch. Feet flex wide as your mat, arms come in front of your shoulder. I want you to inhale and lift up as tall as you can. And then your chin is gonna to come to your chest as you exhale. You round your spine forward as if you're peeling off the wall behind you and your abdominals pull backwards. And then you reset your spine. Bone by bone again, inhale up, chin to chest. Round it forward, reach, waist actively pulled back. And then you roll it all the way up. Let's do one more. Nice deep inhale up. Chin to chest, round it forward. Now hold this position and see if you can roll your spine all the way down to the mat. I'm gonna use my thighs for a little extra help. So roll it all the way down, bone by bone. Right leg is gonna come up to tabletop. Left leg up to tabletop. Reach through your fingertips and neck and shoulders are gonna lift. Really lengthen, keep your knees stacked over your hips, and you're gonna to start to pump your arm through the hundreds. You inhale through your nose for four counts, and you exhale through your mouth, and your arms are nice and strong and stable. Take it in, two, three, four, exhale. And neck and shoulders can come down. Legs can extend up to the sky, they can lower down to 45 degrees. You choose. Inhale, two, three, four, Exhale. And those arms are strong and vigorous, but you're not rocking side to side. It's all about the breath. Exhale, three more sets. You take it in. Two, three, four. Exhale. You take it in. Exhale out. Last set. In. Two, three, four. Exhale, hold. Can you curl up one inch higher? Maybe lower your legs one inch lower. Hold for four. Three. Two, one, knees into your chest, head, neck, and shoulders down. Extend your legs out nice and long, moving into your full roll up. I'm gonna grab my weights here for some extra support. I'll do one full roll up for you guys. Inhale, arms are gonna come up by your ears, and neck and shoulders are gonna lift. Exhale as you round yourself up and reach it forward back to that spine stretch. And then you're gonna roll it back to the ground. I'm just gonna go about halfway. So once your shoulders hit, you inhale, arms up by your ears, head, neck, and shoulders lift. You exhale, peel your spine off the mat, reach it forward. And then you roll it all the way down, keep flexing your feet, bone by bone. Again, you can always come halfway. Inhale, arms up by your ears, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Exhale, you lift up and over, peel your spine off the mat, reach it forward. One more. You roll it all the way down to the mat or you come halfway, whatever works for you. Arms up by your ears, head, neck and shoulders, let's peel your spine off the mat. No momentum, reach it forward. And then you roll it all the way back down with control. Now squeeze your legs together, flex your feet. Right knee is gonna come into your chest. Hold on behind your right leg, your left leg is nice and long, you're flexing your foot, you're anchoring that left leg down to the mat, start to extend your right leg up to the sky, and bend, moving into single leg circles, reach. Now I want you to hold that stretch, leg stays exactly where it is, your arms come down by your side, you push to open up your chest, now circle your right toes across your body, forwards your left shoulder, around and lift, around and lift, so think about anchoring your hip bones down to the mat. If you're swaying side to side, I want you to make those circles smaller. Keep flexing that left foot. Now reverse those circles out around and lift. Out around and exhale, lift. Last three. Last two. Last one, right leg sweeps up, hold it here. Grab up behind your right leg. Lift your head, neck and shoulders up. 
Float your left leg up to a hover, 45 degrees. Scissor your legs, double pulse your top leg, and switch, and switch. And neck and shoulders can always come down. Switch, switch. Let's go for four. Legs are as long as you can. This is a hamstring stretch. Last two. Left leg in, hold that left leg where it is. Flex your right foot, lower it down. Upper body lowers down. Feel that right leg anchors. And you start to bend, extend your left leg. Down, push. Nice job. Last two. Last one. Hold that left leg nice and long. Arm down by your side. Lengthen through your toes. Press open up the shoulders. Stabilize through your hips. Grab those left toes across your opposite shoulder. Around and lift. Around and lift. Massaging that hip joint so much abdominal and pelvic control. Last two. Last one. Reverse those circles. Out around and lift. Out around. Exhale, lift. Last three. Last two. Last one. Left leg stays where it is. You hold on behind your left leg. Connect your shoulders, lift. Hover that right leg. Double pulse your top leg and switch. 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 You've got four more. Three. Two. One. Knees into your chest. Head, neck, and shoulders down. Deep breath. Feet come down to the mat. Hip distance apart. Arms down by your side. But I want you to walk your feet together. So inner thighs squeeze together, feet angles together. Keep your legs glued together as we roll up into the shoulder ridge. So press down into your arms, roll up into your shoulder ridge. It's not going to be very high. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Lengthen through the tops of your legs, tops of your quads, and then just give me a little pulse. Lift. It's going to be super small. Think about lengthening through your tailbone, keeping those ribs nice and connected. For four, three, now full range. Hips are going to drop down to the mat. Push to lift. Down. Push. Down. Push. Down. Push. Good. For four. For three. For two. Now hold it at the top. Keep your legs glued together. Can you lift both of your heels off the mat? Now lower your heels down. Can you lift your toes off the mat? Lower your toes down. Lift those heels off the mat. Lower your heels down. Lift your toes off the mat. One more. Toes down. Heels lift. Now lower your heels down. You're going to lift your toes off the mat. Hold it here. So heels down, toes up. Pressing down through your arms. Now you can open your knees and squeeze them in. Open, squeeze. So with your toes lifted, you've got this nice large range of motion. Keep those hips at the same level. Open, squeeze. Good. Open, squeeze. Let's go four more. Three, two, one. Squeeze your legs together. Lower your toes down. Roll your hips down to the mat. Now take your feet, the width of your mat, and externally rotate. So toes pointing out, heels pointing in, nothing crazy, but externally rotating from your hips. We roll back up into our shoulder bridge. You're going to be able to go up a little bit higher. Same rules. Tailbone long, ribs nice and connected. Start to pulse it up. So you're still going to feel those inner thighs as if your legs were still connected, but those outer hips are working. Let's go for four, three. Now full range, drop the hips. Down, push, down, push, lower. All the way down, all the way up, lower, and push four more, it's four. Three, two. Hold it at the top. Can you lift your heels off the mat? Lower them down. Lift your toes. Lower them down. 
Heels lift and lower. Toes lift. Last set. Heels lift. Lower. Toes lift. Keep your toes lifted. Push down into your heels. Now your knees are going to come in and out. So getting a little bit of internal and external rotation in, out, in, out, in, push. Let's just go four more. Three, two, last one. Come through center, lower your toes down. Roll your hips all the way down to the mat. Take the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open for a moment and just hold it here and breathe. Let those hips relax. And then I want you guys just to find a comfortable position. It could be the same position we are in. Soles of the feet together, knees open. Maybe your legs come out nice and long. Arms can reach up overhead. Maybe you're sitting if lying down doesn't feel nice to you. And let's just take a couple minutes before we head out to the rest of our day to just be here. So I like to end class with this little mini meditation, although I'm not qualified to call it that, but it might be the only time during today, during this week, during this month that you have to just be still. So I want you just to take a few moments and just breathe. You do not have to be anywhere right now. Feel your breath through your body, your heart rate coming down. Just try to be still, try not to fit it, it's hard. But really trying to just be exactly where you are for the next minute or so. And then we'll take a gentle stretch. Maybe you feel your shoulders just gently relaxing, your jaw relaxing a bit. Even feel your spine sort of relaxing and lengthening. You're just breathing, you're just being. A few more deep breaths here. And then ever so gently, just start to keep your head side to side. I want you to be as gentle as possible. Sometimes after they give you a massage, the masseuse will take your head gently side to side. I want you to take that same care with yourself. Just really gently releasing any additional tension. And then your head coming back to center. You start to roll out your wrists and your ankles. And this should feel good. So move them in whatever way you feel good. Just make sure you reverse the directions. Maybe just flex a point. So. And then gently, you're gonna hug your right knee into your chest, give it a nice big squeeze, and just sort of move that knee around so that you're getting a little massage on your hip joint. And then taking your left hand, just gently guide that right side over and find your spinal twist. I like to take a gold pose arm here. You get this beautiful opening of your shoulder, your chest, and your pectoral muscles. Deep breath. And then gently coming back through center, you switch your knees, left knee in, right leg to extend, and that leg can stay back, give it a nice big squeeze, move it a little bit side to side. And then gently using that left 
power that right hand to guide your left thigh across your body, opening up through that left side, that left chest. Deep breath here. And then gently coming back to center. You can either hold on behind your thighs, rock yourself up to seated, or rolling onto your side, pressing yourself up, taking your legs nice and wide. Take whatever bend you need in your legs, flex your feet, take a moment to settle in, and then your left arm's just gonna reach up as you side up over to the right. And then you're just gonna start to gently switch side to side. Flowing, getting that nice side body stretch, but also lengthening through the backs of your legs. Again, if you need to bend your knees, do that. And then we're just gonna come through center, keeping your legs as long as possible, fingertips to the mat. I want you to keep your spine straight. So without rounding through your spine, you're just gonna gently walk your fingertips forward. You want really lengthening as your hip bones press back. Front of your head reaches forward, you probably won't go very far. You're gonna feel this nice length and stretch in those lower back muscles. And then gently, you can just round forward. And then slowly rolling it back up. Find a comfortable seated position. Legs can be crossed, they can be out wide, bent. Settling in, and then just shake out anything extra. Any extra bits of tension, and then just settling into the middle, which with some nice big inhales, reach. Interlace your palms, that feels nice, reach all the way up to the sky. And then release one more. Inhale, reach it up. Oh, reach, you can side bend if you want. Good, and release it out. You guys are all set. Thank you so much for joining me. This will be my last class before this baby comes, so I really appreciate it. Any questions you have, please let me know.